And now, your Big 2 Local Weather Authority forecast. We warn you first. Friday is here and it also brought along the heat. And taking a look at our almanac, today we did have a high of 91 degrees. Usually this time in July we can definitely expect 96 degree temperatures. But you know friends, at least we were far off from the triple digits back in 1937 when we were sitting at a hot 106 degrees. Taking a look at our lows though, we did come in pretty close for this time in July. 70 degrees for our low today. Usually this time in July we can definitely expect 73 degree temperatures. But you know what, back in 1971 we were sitting at 59 degrees. Not bad whatsoever. July is definitely one of those months that's a very hot month of the year. We've continued to see that throughout the month and even as it comes to a close, we're still starting to see, continuing to see those heat temperature, those hot temperatures. And actually taking a look at our satellite radar, we did see a lot of action going on in the basin. Right now though, it is kind of clear. We still see a little bit of neighborhoods with some rain showers, but earlier on today we did see a lot of rain action in the area and also the clouds are beginning to clear. So it could be, it could be potential that you could see the stars tonight. Fingers are crossed for you, but taking a look at our friends in Alpine, Marfa, Balmeray, and along with Van Horn, these areas also did see some, the same thing as Midland and Odessa. You know, some rainfall, but right now it's all cleared out. So I know in that area, they can definitely take a look at the stars. And you know what? With all the rain we did see, I do have a couple of rain tips for you guys. Try to avoid flooded roads, turn around, don't drown, and also drive slowly in puddles. In those areas that continue to still see rain, they that way you don't have to uh, continue on and be like this car in this graphic right over here. But as we get into the evening, some areas will be able to check the stars, but Midland Odessa, you know, it's beginning to clear out. But for the most part, we'll be sitting in our 80s with, you know, a couple of clouds in the area. Not bad whatsoever. So if you get the chance, try to see if you can squint out and see a little bit of the stars. As we make our way into tomorrow, it's going to be a nice day. 8 a.m. we'll be sitting at 73 degrees. By the time we get into the afternoon, 86. And then around 4 p.m. we'll be sitting at a hot 94 degrees. As we get into the evening as well, we'll be sitting at 91. So it is going to be a very warm kind of evening, just like today, but also no rain whatsoever, which is good. And I say that, but just keep in mind, because as we get into the rest of the weekend, you'll see what I'm talking about. And actually, as we get, you know, a little bit closer to the hundreds, I do have a couple heat safety tips for you guys. Hydrate and also take breaks. If you do hydrate, have at least two to four liters of water, fuel your body with electrolytes. But also when it comes to breaks, I keep talking about this. I love a good snack time. Try to have some snacks with, you know, plenty of fiber and natural juices as well. While you are outside, be sure to find some shade and also sit in the AC. Taking a look at tomorrow morning, we'll be sitting in our 70s. Very muggy to start us off, but as the seven-day forecast does pop up, you will see we won't stay in our 70s for too long whatsoever. We'll be sitting at a humid and hot 95 degrees. Remember when I was talking about the rain coming in? And that's when we see that come Sunday and actually coming into Saturday, though. It's going to be a day that you want to take advantage of the, the, the pool, take advantage of grilling, and just really being outside because Sunday is when the rain does begin to come in and it's going to stay with us as we get into the rest of the week. And you know what? We talked about this earlier, my friend. <laughs>